Okay, Mark, let's shift the focus now on the commodity space. Manisha Gupta is joining in and today she is looking at uh, silver. Is it shining bright, Manisha? <laughs> well, not really. It hasn't started that way this year, but the markets are looking mm. at very strong fundamentals going forward because this is going to be yet another year and a fourth one, by the way, when we are looking at deficit in case of silver as a commodity. But at this point in time, because there is a kind of sell-off that we've seen in metals and silver also is 60% industrial metal, so we have seen some decline come in for this one. It's trading at a three week lows right now. Markets are watching out at a US Fed rate cut possibility which has come down from a 90% of a probability to 70% right now. All eyes clearly on the US non-farm payroll data and that would be the first indication in this year that will tell you on whether or not and how much of rate cut can be anticipated. Also there are similar statements from European Central Bank and Bank of England which also are calling rate cuts as uh, early and uh, uh, the, the expectation is that you perhaps would see that happen from these couple of central banks only by the second quarter of this year. There also is a report as I was telling you from Metal Focus which says that silver recorded a deficit of 140 million ounces in the previous year and you could be looking at a 130 million ounces of a deficit into this year as well and that would be supportive. When you look at the price moves itself while uh, 2022 was up 3.7 percent last year the silver price has gained up by 5.2 but the first week of 2024 actually actually has seen a bit of a decline in silver. We are down by 2%, but that's exactly how the other metals also are trading, down by 1% to 4% in the first week of 2024. Going forward, and these are uh, what the uh, global banks and brokerages are anticipating when it comes to silver prices. World Bank is slightly bearish, $21 of, uh, an ounce is what they are uh, putting out as an average for this year. But then you have higher price projections as well. Anywhere between $27 to $30 an ounce is what's coming in as a forecast from Capital Economics, from Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Citi as well. All of them believe that $30 or around is what you could silver prices as averaging. And much of these gains would only come in by the second half of this year. So there's going to be a bit of a wait. Okay, thank you very much for that. We will slip into a very short break. On the other side, market technicals with Mitesh Thakkar.